Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. We are going to random a character here, Maggie. Maybe that's a good thing, because starting with a little bit of extra health is not necessarily a negative, especially when I've been having, let's be honest, let's call a spade a spade here. Hopefully I get the two of spades as a result of saying that, but uh, I've been having some pretty not so great runs. However, I did uh, refresh myself a little bit. I had a uh, mirror match versus biz snap. This is going to go up on the channel well before that mirror match goes up, but keep an eye out for that. So I learned a few things, you know, I got re-energized. I will definitely pick up uh, Mr. Mega here, as it is a passive that gives us some extra bombs and a little bomb damage. Uh, and I don't have the op opportunity to reroll it anyway. But yes, I've, I've learned a few things. I've talked to Obi-Wan, the Obi-Wan of the Binding of Isaac anyway. Not literally Alec Guinness. That'd be pretty cool, though. Uh, and hopefully I'm able to convert some of that information, some of that uh, innovation, and some of that inspiration into some really impressive Binding of Isaac play here, but to a certain extent, you know, we are still depending on RN Jesus, no question about it. Yes! The Widow! You fed into my plan there. We used one bomb to take him, like, literally 95% of the way to dead, and now he's 100% dead, and we're gonna take our range upgrade and get the heck out of here. Probably should look for the secret room, but I never like looking for the secret room on the first floor, because there's always, uh, you know, some tricky stuff going on with it. And we got a key there anyway, so that's a positive thing from that Tinted Rock. I would have preferred, you know, key plus uh, a Spirit Heart. You can't always get what you want, I suppose. We'll open up our item room and get Quad Shot, which is a no-brainer, although I will admit that, uh, Bisnap told me that if you get Quad Shot, or if you're planning on getting a Brimstone or Mom's Knife or Polyphemus, you should not get Quad Shot. I hope I'm not bastardizing his advice, but, you know, Quad Shot by itself, uh, very early on in a vanilla run, is uh, no issue. I think that the thing is, if maybe Polyphemus didn't apply, but if you only have one shot, do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime, of course, but if you only have one shot, uh, and there's no way for Quad Shot to actually multiply it by four, it's actually, you know, effectively a damage downgrade, because, uh, you know, it normally splits your damage across four shots. However, uh, obviously, if, if you can't get four shots, then you just end up in a situation where uh, you have slightly less damage as a result of it. I don't know if it's four times less damage. I, I doubt it. Uh, we get another bomb and a key here. We're definitely looking forward to possibly going to the shop here. I will check out this boss room first just because we're here. It's gonna be the pony. That's an interesting proposition. Uh, I am totally okay with getting rid of Yumheart. Ah, that was really bad. Uh, with getting rid of Yumheart to pick up the pony in this situation. Uh, the pony's not the greatest item in the game, of course. Remember when you could use flying items like the pony? Uh, to just walk into mob trap rooms and then get the item and walk out. Those were the days, man. Those were the days. In any case, um, we're gonna kill the pony here. It's not the easiest boss fight we could possibly deal with. Probably should have used a bomb uh, to avoid taking so much damage. We lost a spirit heart. It's no big deal. We'll take the pony and move onwards. Now, the last time we played Maggie, uh, getting rid of Yum Heart may have indeed ended up costing us the entirety of the run, but... Uh, this time, I really like having the ability to fly. As Sugar Ray said, just put your arms around me, baby. I just want to fly. All around the world, statues crumble for me. What does that even mean? All around the world, statues crumble for me. Is the song from the perspective of water? Is it about erosion? All around the world, statues crumble for me, I guess. But then he's talking about, like, who knows how long I've loved you. My mother's... God bless her soul. It doesn't make any sense, as far as I know. Water has... Sugar Ray... And Mark McGrath, your lyrical wordsmith, please explain yourself at once, because otherwise, I'd, you know, yes, it's a summer jam, I appreciate it, it's very fun and, and floaty, and it's a pop song, and that's fine. I just, I, I need that, the lyrics explained there, is it an ARG for some product that came out 20 years ago, all around the world statues crumble for me? Maybe you should get superior architects to work on your shit then. Statues shouldn't be crumbling, or maybe... You know, you should be on the no-fly list. Hey, no, you can't go to Rome. The Colosseum is an important landmark, and we don't want you destroying it, Mark McGrath. So that's my uh, tirade on Fly by the uh, amazing band Sugar Ray. Uh, you know, if you have any any thoughts on the subject, I would, I would love to hear them. I can uh, bomb my way into the boss trap room here. Almost sound like I said bum my way, but uh, that is not what I meant in either a begging or a slightly more anal context. Uh, so we should be able to get a free item here. Anal context! Great name for a band. Whoa! Okay, so we have the pentagram uh, as our item from the uh, boss trap room, which is actually, you know, I'm not gonna say it's the best item we can get from the boss trap room, but it's definitely up there. It certainly beats, you know, the standard HP or other attribute upgrade, although I'll be, you know, eating my words if I end up needing HP later. 
Uh, might as well just, yeah, just, ah, uh, and then I put myself in a position where I got hit, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm very happy to be flying and have the pentagram, making the statues all around the world crumble for me. Who knows how long I've loved the pentagram. I'm not going to be able to get this out of my head now, so I hope you just kind of learn to deal with it. Now, the issue here is that I still do not have, uh, 15 cents, so I, I guess I will pop open the shop just in case. Yeah, so I, I'm gonna buy the key to uh, kind of compensate us for the key that I just spent. But apart from that, there was no recourse uh, that would allow me to buy the map. So, I suppose we'll just uh, move outwards and onwards. What do we have in this room down here? Was it something I could have picked up? Oh, it was a live bomb. Fantastic. Could have looked for the second secret room, but, you know, let's be reasonable. That's not gonna happen. Uh, we'll take our half heart and then get the heck out of here. First few floors, or first couple of floors, I would say turned out reasonably well. We got a quad shot and a damage increase. Which is beautiful, because we should start taking out enemies very easily. We have a nice, kind of, non-traditional um, run so far when it comes to damage. Usually at this point you have, like, some deal with the devil, whether it's a mom's knife or a brimstone, or the mark or the pact. Uh, but, you know, this is kind of a more vanilla-y run that we have going on here. Uh, the ability to fly allowed us to get that extra heart there. We're dealing with Gertie, which is not the best, but also not the worst. Considering we do a decent amount of damage, Gertie should fall reasonably quickly, but it is going to take us a, a little while to set up appropriately, because obviously we want to make sure that the nubs aren't an issue. Uh, this is not the Gertie that oh, exclusively creates enemies, which is my favorite Gertie to fight, of course. The Gertie that exclusively creates enemies is a godsend almost every time you get it. That really didn't hit. Okay. Uh, I, I'm actually getting torn up a little bit here. I should probably use my active pony effect. So we'll do that in just a second here. I want to make sure that I get as many enemies inside of that active effect as possible. to be doing something like that. That did reasonably well, I would say. One more shot should kill Gertie here. Bad fight. Uh, you know, mechanically I'm not playing well so far, but we've gotten good enough items that it hasn't mattered too, too much. We are going to pick up an HP upgrade, which I think is a fair compensation for what we uh, spent on that floor, which is a little bit of effort. We got a little bit of a reward for it, and uh, now we'll move onwards in the hopes of actually making the shop and item room work for us on this floor. Not that they didn't on the last floor, obviously. Quad shot from the item room is a stellar pickup. And we didn't necessarily get anything from the shop, but I was uh, very thrilled to be picking up the pentagram in the boss trap room as well. Making a, a decent run so far, no question about it. There we go. That went very well. Uh, instead of... Well, we'll take the money for sure, but I think it's in our best interest to check out this room where we'll get two pills. Uh, please don't be telepills. That's full health. I like that. That's telepills, which took us to the boss room, which is okay. So we, we actually didn't spend anything to go in there, and we got full health, which means, you know, eff effectively there's some extra hearts available on this level in case we run across an arcade or something, which might be nice to potentially give me another HP upgrade. So, uh, what is my, my strategy? My strategy is go to item rooms and shops and let them, uh, carry me, hopefully. Uh, we're gonna find some right here, and this is gonna be the end of this floor, so... Uh, I, I wouldn't be necessarily against picking up some active items that cause me to lose the ability to fly, but they'd have to be pretty solid. That is Luckfoot, I'll take it if we get, uh, you know, the, uh, t bad luck, no, t tooth luck, bloody teeth, brass knuckles, the one that allows us to shoot teeth. Uh, that would allow me to shoot teeth perpetually. So, I do want to buy the steam sale in here, even though we're getting to the point where it's kind of not the most effective purchase. We should be able to buy it. Let's, uh, make the investment now. Oh, we're gonna just get enough. Okay, so we're buying the steam sale now, so that we don't have to, uh, pay so much for items later. We might only have one shop remaining that doesn't have a judgment in it. Uh, that's okay. I just noticed, by the way, and it's... No, wait, no, never mind. I was gonna say that, uh... Items turn red when you can't buy them. That's not true. The prices turn red when they're on sale, which everything is with a Steam sale. So, uh, I would say that is it for this floor. We'll head downwards. Luckfoot, not the most, uh, at least right now, it's not the most tangible upgrade. Uh, but it's something. We'll see how it ends up working out for us. For now, we'll just focus, uh, now that we're on the catacombs. A little bit more prudent for us to pay attention to our dodging and shooting abilities, as if we were playing Mega Man or something, except minus the jump, of course. Very thankful that the game has been very, uh, kind of liberal with its key dropping so far. It actually means a lot to me, makes it possible for me to succeed on this run. Uh, and of course, you know, no surprise here, but, uh, I would consider a deal with the devil 
to be something that could potentially open a lot of very good doors for us. But we'll see. You know, you can't necessarily bank on it happening all the time. I've been playing pretty badly on the boss fights, which I think is causing uh, Deals with the Devil to be a little bit less likely. We got a one-up from our secret room. So far, these uh, secret rooms have done a lot of good for us, giving us just enough money to pick up the steam sale. The bo Well, not secret rooms necessarily, because the boss trap room gave us the pentagram. Non-item and shop rooms. Non-traditional rooms that normally don't necessarily pay out that nicely for you. Uh, I kind of want to come into the shop just to fight greed. We're not fighting greed. Um, the Book of Revelations is half off. Well, I mean everything's half off because we have the Steam sale, but I don't necessarily know if I want to pick up the Book of Revelations. I, I kind of feel like the ability to fly is actually more valuable right now. As much as I've, you know, loved Book of Revelations in the past, uh, we could, you know, potentially say that Book of Revelation statue was crumbling for me right now. I don't know. I just it seemed fitting for one reason or another. Uh, hopefully, we find an arcade on this floor because we do have uh, a potential boss trap room, which was obviously very good for us on the first floor. If we can make it be very good for us again, that would be nice. Traded a bomb for a key and a penny. Not the greatest trade of all time, but here we are. There is a judgment as well. Um, not a judgment card, but a judgment uh, turret, or a judgment machine, if you will, that is stationary. A stationary judgment, but not one that gives away paper, because that wouldn't even make sense. I was really hoping for the HP upgrade there. So, you know, the judgment is probably my number one priority. I would probably rather snag an HP upgrade for seven cents-ish than snag a Book of Revelations for seven cents-ish, which would also cost me the ability to fly, uh, as well as, you know, whatever value you associate with the, the ponies. That was terrible. Active effect. There it was valueless, more or less. Uh, but, we'll see. Judgment could also pay out with beautiful items like the compass or the map. You never know. For now, though. These guys are deceased, and that is fantastic. We should be- Ah, oh, there is a blood bank. Okay, so this is a little risky, but also very smart because it gives us the money necessary to make some good things happen. But first things first, I'm gonna finish off the entire floor. Because I do worry that I could potentially screw myself over pretty seriously here. Uh, if I end up going through with this blood bank plan before I fight the boss. Uh, I want to make sure the entire floor is done. So I have the kind of safety to play that blood bank and get to low health. If that makes sense. There's a lot of red hearts kind of existing for us here too. Lemon mishap. Uh, obviously a terrible item. But I will pick it up and use it just to make sure that it doesn't show up again. You probably don't need to use it to make sure it doesn't show up again. But uh, why the heck not? It's a fun item to get absolutely no value out of. Just kidding. It uh, is a deep existential crisis motivator for me. What am I doing with my life that I end up pissing on the floor here in front of 30,000 people? It's like a rock concert of ineptitude. Okay, so we'll fight our boss first and it's gonna be Peep, a champion version which spawns both eyes simultaneously, but we uh, can't get hit by Peep's creep, so he can't be cheap. Uh, I can't think of any other words that rhyme with that. That's unfortunate because I felt like that joke had more potential. But it just kind of seeped through. Alright, well, you know, you can't win them all. Sometimes you can't win any of them. And that that's the worst, but you get used to it, I promise. So we are uh, coming down to the end of this peep fight. So far, so good. Taking a little bit of damage, but that's almost to be expected. No deal with the devil, but I will definitely take this HP upgrade. And now we will play the bejesus out of the blood bank. We want the money to play the judgment. We want the money to buy something from the shop, maybe? I don't know. Uh, but mostly I want to go to this boss trap room, so there's uh, a lot of value inherent in this uh, blood bank here. Potentially, at least. So we'll just keep playing it. Uh, oh, well, okay. We're not going to be able to go to the boss trap room unless we get another temperance card from this judgment. Uh, but what I will do is play this judgment for seven cents. I'd say there's probably like a 40% chance that he pays out with something beyond consumables. Let's see if that ends up working out for us. Never tell me the odds, of course. Well, there we go. We got the, the 9 volt, which is actually a totally solid upgrade. And we still have 4 cents with which to spend on the next shop, which will certainly have greed in it. But the next valuable shop, that's when uh, things will start to happen for us. So the uh, compass is another item that I'm going to very much be looking forward to. I would love to pick up uh, another high damage or tears increaser. Maybe uh, Skinny Odd Mushroom take, gives us a damage down. I still like it. Sad Onion might be preferable. Number one would create an interesting situation. I do have one range upgrade. We've got a pink glitch or some kind of XL glitch here, so we'll just give it a moment. And soon, this will stop and we'll be able to start up again. Hopefully. Not start up anew, that would be terrible. You know, considering we're only 14 minutes, 45 seconds roughly in, 
Uh, it is going to be pretty quick for us to get down to the depths this early, which is, I guess, what happens when you pick up high damage plus quad shot so early. We've got a weird white glitch here. Yo, Mrs. White, please fix this up because I don't want to lose this run to bad technical issues. It's going so well so far, we just got to get to that Cthulhu room at the end and then it's all over, sort of. Uh, we continue to wait here. How's your day going, guys? Have you thought about your opinions on Sugar Ray's fly yet? Okay, we've, can we load into the game? Now we can! Okay, Necropolis Part 1. Sugar Ray's... I have a weird relationship with fly, as you can probably notice here. Um, and the reason for that is, you know, when I was a kid, I was like 12, I was really into Every Morning by Sugar Ray, as other 12-year-olds at the time were. So don't laugh at it, if you were there, you would have been into... Excuse me? We're gonna fight the pony again? We already have the pony item. This is weird. Uh, but yeah, and then I was like, hey mom, can you give me that Sugar Ray CD with Every Morning on it? But then they got me the Sugar Ray CD with Fly on it, and, and you know, they're not the same album. It's the same, I, I was really into All Star by Smash Mouth, as you can probably tell. And then I was like, hey, can you give me that Smash Mouth album? And they're like, well, we got you this Smash Mouth album, because it was like $3 cheaper. And I was like, mom, this is the album with Walking on the Sun on it. I don't want that. I specifically asked for the one with All Star on it, you know. It's just uh, my childhood in a nutshell, apparently. I mean, that's an ultimate first world problem. That being said, you know, this is back in the days before music piracy, so if you were like a 12 year old without a disposable income or a way to get to the music store, you're just like, well, okay, I guess I'll just listen to Fly by Sugar Ray instead of Every Morning. Wait for it to come on the radio and then tape it or something. I don't know, was, you, you left me with no choice, haven't you, Mom? So that's, um, you know, probably the most worrying, well not worrying, the most scarring aspect of my childhood, which says a lot about the fact that I'm probably a little bit spoiled. That being said, let's move onwards. We got a lot of floor left to cover. We fought the pony and got uh, tears upgrade, which is nice. You know, remember, you may recall, I specifically asked for it. I really missed everybody there. I specifically asked for a, a rate of fire increase. Tears upgrade will uh, sort that out, although I would love to get more of them. Or is Squeezy just a shot speed upgrade? I've <laughs> forgotten. Because everyone's, it's the, they're doing a misinformation campaign. If you say everything's a shot speed upgrade, I, I have to default to assuming nothing's a shot speed upgrade. Top comment for this video, I'm calling it. Nothing is a shot speed upgrade. Anyway. Or top comment for this video, I love you NL, but why do you talk about Sugar Ray so much? You gotta know, man, it was a good cultural epoch. PhD. Yeah, okay, it's it's gonna give us full health, which is a something. Uh, it's gonna give us better pills when pills drop, but uh, certainly not gonna be the item that I need it to be in order to, you know, necessarily put us on the winning team, but we'll see if maybe we can swing it regardless. So, uh, our damage is starting to come up against a wall, which is my way of saying that we do decent damage, but I would like to do more, because we're still roughly doing the same amount of DPS that we did, uh, you know, four or five floors ago. So, line these guys up and buttfuck them. Kind of came out the wrong way, but yeah, maybe it's the right way if you're into that sort of thing. Who am I to judge? I, I, have, I have an obsession with Sugar Ray's Fly, so whatever choices you make in your life, I can't be uh, the bearer of bad news with respect to those. I mean, here I am in my underwear playing video games for the internet for like the 600th time. It's a living. We have a mob trap room over here. When there's rooms with few enemies, my life is easy. When there's rooms with a lot of enemies, it gets a little bit trickier. You're not going to believe me, but I was actually just going to say, uh, before I walked into this room, Poison Touch would be nice because it, it synergizes very well with the pony's acto effect. It makes it so that when I do the, uh, the pony charge, which sounds like the hottest new dance craze, uh, it will also, god damn it, poison enemies. I probably should have saved that because I think zombies are coming soon. Um, but yes, it'll it'll poison enemies, uh, which does a lot of damage. And you know, we already have the nine volts, so we'll be able to use the the, the pony's acto effect more often. That was really bad. Uh, and in addition, to, ah, I'm the worst dodger of all time. Uh, in addition to that, if we get like a battery or something like that, or a nun's habit, it'll be yet more effective still. So my main uh, strategy for this fight at this point. Uh, don't walk into the silkworms. I was just demonstrating what not to do that time. You know, I could beat this game if I really wanted to try. I just don't want to try. Uh, and also, anytime you get the opportunity to kill the fistulas over those gaps, you can do it and save yourself a little bit of heartache. Since we have the steam sale, the shop here 
is going to be totally viable, except for the fact that it's almost certainly going to contain greed. And if it contains greed, you know, shit happens, so be it, it's not the end of the world. PhD may actually prove valuable for us here. Keep in mind, we already know a couple of the pills in our rotation. Our vanilla rotation, even without being augmented by PhD, has full health in it. That is potentially a game-saving pill at times, no question about it. How did I, did I really get hit by the blast there? Only blast I want to get hit by is Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Health upgrade! That's what I was hoping would be uh, in our rotation. Okay, here's what you do. You uh, completely miss everybody. It's actually a strategy long lost to the uh, annals of history. It's a huge benefit, though. If you just miss everybody, then they can't hit you either, and you just live in perfect harmony. Who needs war and, and famine and disease and, and pestilence when instead we can all exist in perfect harmony? Even these ungodly abominations like those massive infamy that are miniature destroy the TNT the TNT we can't live in harmony with this is a full health pill bombs are key interesting uh, okay we continue to have kind of the worst shops of all time except uh, I mean the only thing we bought was the steam sale so I'm thinking uh, I'm gonna bomb my way out of this room if I could just avoid destroying my own bomb that'd be you can't bomb your way out of this room. I'm an idiot. Okay, we're gonna bomb our way through this room then by doing a lot of damage to these guys. I don't want to use any more bombs. Uh, but Ultra Pride is an enemy who I really don't like fighting. Although since I can fly, I don't have to worry about the creeps. Probably shouldn't have wasted or the creep. Probably shouldn't have wasted two bombs here because uh, I can just take this guy out fairly easily. Uh, I don't really like the left hand as a trinket, but I'll take it because Bisnap likes the left hand as a trinket. So uh, what can I say? Monkey see, monkey do. Hopefully this will end up benefiting me in the short and or long term. That was not the secret room. I'm still looking for the secret room in the hopes that maybe we find another item. Uh, we already have the one up, obviously, which is nice. Maybe we can get an onk and get a, effectively the two up. Or we can get uh, spider bite, which is a super rare drop that is actually probably the best item I could have hoped for in there. Uh, keeping the, the fetus item ex exempt. Uh, so that is a slowing effect on our shots, which is going to make bosses several times easier. That's beautiful. We're going to go down to uh, Necropolis 2 or the Depths Part 2. It, it's Necropolis 2. Well, Necropolis, but, uh, you know, effectively Necropolis 2. Again, that's like the third time in a row. Completely missed all enemies with the pony's active effect because I'm bad. We are going to... I wish I had the battery instead of the Nightbolt, just so I could potentially use it more often. Use the Pony's effect more often on every single room. But, uh, it's okay. It's not the end of the world, obviously. We're still having a very good run here, a run where we could uh, foreseeably win. Those Spirit Hearts are valuable, especially since I consider lose or er, continue losing my own ones uh, that I earned kind of naturally or bought from the Secret Room. Good for us, we're out of here. There is our uh, boss room, who we are not going to go to straight away. We also... Ooh, that was kind of close. We also have our shop, which we will go to straight away. I'm assuming that we're going to have greed in there. That's just... It, it's got to be... Oh my god, we don't, and we have the compass. Okay, so we're going to settle that up, because that is going to save us a lot of heartache as we move further onwards. The compass might be enough to help us win this run. I know that sounds like maybe I'm getting a little bit too cocky. There's usually like, no... Too cocky, no deal. No too cocky... Uh, it's an NLSS joke. If you don't watch it, you should. NLSS airs every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday on twitch.tv slash Northern Lion. So, we will keep letting silkworms come in here. And, uh, the Chad is actually, like, really fast, so I'm glad that we have the slowing effect. And also, I feel like this Chad has way more HP than the average. Uh, Blood Rites. I kind of hate it, but we're on a room with, uh, like, six poops in it. Hopefully we can get a little bit of money out of this. The only reason I'm still going and not going to the boss is because I need to get to 7 cents so that I can uh, pick up the compass. The compass is like the most valuable item we could get at this point outside of, you know, again, the fetus items or a huge high damage increase. Um, I don't really want to take bombs or key yet. I, I feel okay with our key situation. We need one more cent and then we're G to G. That's how the cool kids say uh, good to go in this day and age. I'm just letting you know just in case you want to be one of the cool kids. Now, one more shot, and no more pennies. We can look for the secret room. If we end up getting fucked out of this last penny, I am not going to be very happy at all. That compass is not necessarily all that stands between me and victory, but it's a major piece of the puzzle. Now, the secret room could also contain something that would make me forget about the compass, but it would have to be pretty goddamn great. Again, you know, you know where I stand on, on what items would replace it. 
So, um, if we can blow up this bomb fly like so, that is going to make our room a whole bunch easier. One more should do it. And no pennies. There's a lock here, but still no pennies. That's okay. Oh, there's a penny. Okay. Find a penny, pick it up all day long. You'll have good luck. Find a penny, leave it lay. You'll have bad luck all the day. So hopefully, I mean, we already have max luck, so uh, ignore everything I just said. We're going to take our compass, fight mom, and GTFO, uh, which is a great name for, like, a band in the 80s, like a novelty band. This is GTFO with their smash hit, working hard or hardly working. And then, you know, they tour forever. It would be called, like, Get the Funk Out or something like that. I don't know. Because obviously you can't just you be so... Uh, Crude on the radio. People would, you know, listen to that with their kids. It would be very threatening. Uh, we're... Mom is not the ideal fight for us. You know, there's two kinds of runs. Runs where uh, you're well-suited to a mom fight and runs where, where you're uh, not well-suited to a mom fight. That's obvious, I guess. Uh, just based on the definitions that I drew there. But uh, this is definitely a run where we're not very well-suited to the mom fight. But we are very well-suited to other single-target bosses, which hopefully we will encounter as time goes on here. Maybe I'm just talking out of my ass. We'll see. Uh, one thing's for sure, we've definitely been able to uh, crowd control ourselves into a decent position here. Lost a little bit of health on this fight so far, but, you know, Bob's your uncle. We're almost done anyway. Bob really is your uncle, by the way. I don't know what it is. You, you, you have a kid. You think he's gonna... If he has brothers and sisters, Bob seems like a pretty appropriate name, because uh, everybody's got an Uncle Bob. Now, if I just wait uh, a little bit longer, the fight should be over here. Wait for the foot, and there we go. We get an HP upgrade. We get the Polaroid, which is obviously a necessity. Left hand ended up paying out with two spirit hearts, sure, by all means. And uh, down to the next floor. With this, bombs are key, which is potentially interesting for us. Not interested as much in that room. Uh, please tell me we'll be able to find the uh, vaunted boss room as soon as possible so we can leave this floor. And please, please, please give me a deal with the devil. I have all this HP I don't know what to do with. A guppy's paw would just hit the spot right now. Like an in and out after a long road trip. It sounded like I was talking about burgers, but actually I just meant like a, a quickie in the Burger King bathroom. The old in and out, you know. Give him or her a taste of the Whopper. Now, please tell me we just go down. Yes, okay, this seems to be the right way in order to find the boss room. I'm pleased with that. You should be pleased with that as well, because it increases our chances of winning, unless you're the kind of viewer who likes watching me lose, in which case, you know, by all means, <laughs> much appreciated. You're usually probably pretty happy with the way that these turn out. We're going to get a spirit heart here, which is actually a very nice uh, course of action, or, you know, result. Uh, that slow actually almost trapped me there. It's okay, though. Spirit heart will uh, hopefully finance us during our boss fight, which I hope is against... Uh, Skolex would be ideal. We could probably kill Skolex, in all honesty, uh, in, like, one single pony attack because of our poison damage. We'll see, though. Chad, or, sorry, Chubb continues to be super annoying. But we will kill him without much uh, ceremony. No question about it. And this is a big floor for us because we're strong enough to get through this. But we might not be super strong when it comes to our future floors. And we're not going to get anything else after this floor for a long, long time. So I really need some kind of good item to insulate me from the way that things are going to go soon. Um, obviously, death is not my favorite enemy to fight at this point. But I'm not going to complain too much about getting uh, one orbital. It's kind of nice, actually. We did poison death there. I think that was a good use of the pony's active effect, even though I took damage soon afterwards. Throw in a couple of bombs here just to simplify it, and good. We've got death in the uh, situation where he's much easier to manage, even if he does create zombies. Not the end of the world, because the pony will take those out pretty effectively for us. There we go, we earned a spirit heart for our troubles, and now it's the uh, easy but also tedious part of waiting for this horse to die. Something that you would probably say if you were a breeder or something. No deal with the devil! Again! Down to the womb part two with the compass. We fight mom's heart. We earned exclusively one orbital there, which is not really enough to make me feel super comfortable about the way things are going. But we have enough keys to make the chest worthwhile if we do manage to make it there. We also have bombs are key, which we could use for, I don't know, something. Although pretty soon we're going to have more keys than bombs once we get through this mom's heart boss fight. Uh, pills have to be good. That's telepills, which is interesting. 
I don't know how I feel about that, in all honesty. This is a dead end. That was unexpected. I will admit, I assumed that we were... I got a little cocky, honestly. I thought we were on the right track 100%. No questions asked. Turns out I'm full of shit, though. Okay, I'll drop another couple of shots down here. And this... Oh. Where did he... He was still there! The shot, like, bent around his carcass, or what should have been his carcass. Uh... I don't know what's better here, honestly. We'll go, uh... Around this way. I guess I should have, you know, been a little bit more critical. That was an okay pony active effect, I guess. Uh, should have been a little bit more critical in my thinking and realized that there is a mini boss over here. Which means, you know, that has to be adjacent to a room. And the boss room is pretty close nearby, so... There had to be at least a room over in this general direction. Makes sense for this to be the, the correct path. That's my own bad, though. Now, oh, that was really bad of me. Should be able to sneak one more in here and kill this guy. And I'm losing too much health. I don't know why I'm holding on to telepills. I guess it's the naive hope that it's going to teleport me into the boss room on the cathedral. And then I'll be able to fight the boss, go to the chest, and pick up the greatest items in the game's history and, and make it work for me. I don't know, though. You know, in any case, I, I consider this run to be a minor success so far. We should not have any trouble at all beating Mom's heart. That should be a no-brainer. Should be a no-harder for her pretty soon. This might not be the right way. Because I can't... This this mini-boss has to be a dead end, right? Like, there's no way it can't be. I think. Unless I'm missing something, like, really serious here. Or really obvious. We'll see, I suppose. It's really bad damage for me to take here as well. Uh, and I apologize for that. Rest assured, I'm not trying to. Usually slow is a really nice uh, thing to use against Gertie Jr. It didn't really work out that fantastically for me there. Oh, okay, there's a way around, so that's the way that the, this is going to work out for us. Now, slow against Envy is a really nice combination. We might be able to snag an attack fly here. So, so much for me saying we're going to get zero items. We may actually get a single fly, which can actually be a, a huge offensive boon for us. Even if it is, uh, now I can't tell which one's blue, dabba dee dabba die. My favorite Daft Punk song. Every time I make a reference like that, and I hate to pull the curtain back, but I'm being deliberately facetious. I know the blue is not by Daft Punk. But people say, like, oh my god, does he really think that Paul McCartney wrote Can't Get No Satisfaction? It's like, you fuckers, you're ruining the joke. Or maybe you have become the joke. It's all good, just assume, you know, I know that who the most famous songs of all time are written by. Otherwise, I, I wouldn't be comfortable making those references. It's, we just have a good laugh together. You know, it's like, do or do not, there is no try. That's my favorite quote from Professor Xavier from the Star Wars movies. Probably should have said Star Trek there. That would have been maximum butthurt. But anyway. It's not even trolling every, every time you deliberately do something to get a reaction out of somebody. It's trolling now. It's not trolling. I'm not trolling anybody. I'm just trying to give everybody a laugh and say like, Oh, Northern Lion. That's not right and we both know it. That's the humor in the situation. The Sun card. That's the most valuable card that we have by far. I am not going to fight greed because why would I? Instead... We will um, murder these dudes in like two seconds each. I really thought he would die more quickly than he did. And uh, this is a long trip to our mom's heart boss room. But, you know, the game only gets harder from this point on. So I guess I should get used to this grind. Until we get to the chest at least. And then maybe, maybe we can make something good happen. Extra heart means uh, I can go a little bit longer without using the sun card. Definitely, you know, I was going to say pop that open and get something. We did get something. It was the red patch. I can't use it, but we did get something. With the number of keys that I have, I feel it's okay to open up golden chests right now. Because they could give us items that make a, a major impact in our success. Anyway, finally! It lives fight, or mom's heart fight, as I call it. Despite the fact that it hasn't technically been mom's heart for uh, an awful long time. We have uh, Mr. Mega, which we picked up on the first... I can't believe I still got hit there. What was that? Was that construction outside? I don't know, there's a construction outside all the time. It's almost like we live in a, a blossoming city or something like that. I don't know what that dude... The dude next door moved out of his apartment like a month ago, and they've been doing renovations for ages, like three weeks. I almost feel like there's like a Hoarders episode set there that I'm about to see. Like this dude just shit all over his walls or something, and they, they don't want anyone else in the building to know about it. I don't know. Maybe they're just making it really nice for the next person who moves in. That's, you know, good, good building managers, much appreciated. Uh, we're gonna fire in some more bombs here, and pretty shortly, Mom's heart slash it lives is gonna be deceased. We're not getting any items out of this anymore. 
That's all right, though. We'll take our half heart, which will give us the possibility of permanent Polaroid invincibility. Move up to the next floor. Obviously, I'm going to be using the sun card as a... Oh, I really thought that was going to be the boss. Uh, I'm using the sun card as, like, a full health, not as a compass slash map. Two of clubs. We'll use that straight away. Like so. Uh, then our sun card's still down here. There's another tarot card. Stars. It takes us... It, it's like a telepills. I don't want to use it. We seem very close to our boss room. And our last bit of money gives us the umbilical cord. Fantastic. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to go up, down, all around in order to get to the uh, Isaac Town here. What are you talking about? No, I didn't steal that from anything. You must be crazy. Uh, we're just gonna blow up the bomb flies. The whole Loki fight, the 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 crux of the Loki fight, for, is first off get Loki away from this door, and then we'll just walk through it. Loki, get the heck away from the door! I can just use the. If you don't teleport in two seconds. I'm gonna be in a bad place, Loki. I just want to walk away. We don't need to fight each other. We can just live in harmony. Oh my god, you teleported exactly into the door again. You scum lord. And watch this not even be the right way. Okay, now we leave, and then it should be an easier way out for us. Now that was really bad. That being that was worse. Uh, that being said, there is a tinted rock here. Maybe we can still make this work for us. If I have to use the sun card, I think I can still reasonably easy... Or still have a reasonably easy time against the boss. We got a key and a spirit heart. And then we leave. And then we go up! Yes, okay, so this is the right way. So I shouldn't have to go fight Loki again. If I get... I don't want to use the sun card before the boss fight. That's the, that's the thing. I want to save it for the uh, Isaac boss fight. Just so, you know, I have maximum amount of health possible to use. It gives me a, a goal to shoot towards. It's always important. Gives structure to a young man's life. There we go. More health. Hey, a half heart that I actually should not take in this situation. But if we get another half heart, then I can take him. So, I don't want to use the pony's active effect either. And if we can just survive this Isaac fight, which if, if it's possible, it's likely going to be possible as a result of uh, the slowing effect, plus obviously the, the decent damage that we're doing. Uh, but yeah, if it's going to be possible, then we get to the chest, we have more than enough keys to pop open all of those items, and uh, you know, again, Bob's your uncle, maybe we can swing this and make it work for us. He's got to explode like any second now, thank you. And there's another key, in fact. Really no need to bring these uh, bombs or key pills into the situation. That was not really, I mean, if I hurt Famine with that bomb, I would have been thrilled. Uh, but it was mostly just to put him in a position where I could actually hit him. Although, you know, I could fly, I don't want to get too close to him, because if I just keep my distance, it's like the easiest boss fight. Oh, god damn it, I walked away by accident. This is fine! How did I, oh, that was my own bomb that blew up that door, so that's, you know, I can't really offer much of my own defense. The good thing is, he's still like the easiest boss we could possibly fight. The easiest room we could possibly fight right now, probably, in all honesty. As long as it's just famine. Alright, so here we go. It's gonna be our fight against uh, Isaac. We're gonna slow him, which should, sh should slow his shots and make them slightly easier to dodge. Although there's gonna be probably a metric fuck ton of them anyway. Uh, every time, the first time we get hit, we're gonna have to use the sun card. We'll also have permanent Polaroid invincibility, so I'll walk over and do some poison damage. After that, we'll probably pop open this uh, active effect from the pony, so I can do a little bit more damage to him via the poison touch as well. As you can see, uh, damage is pretty bad, but again, what did I say? We're really good against uh, these single target bosses uh, in the late game, like Isaac and Blue Baby. The fact that we slow their shots really puts us in a much better position. So just wait until the invincibility is about to wear off. Then we'll use the sun card immediately. Might have saved my life there. Um, and now, he's about half dead and perpetually slowed, which is very nice. I think luck up makes it so he gets slowed all the time. Unless uh, Spider Bite automatically gives you permanent slowing. So that luck up might be something that I should give more credit to as well. Uh, and this fight's going very well, you know, to have this little damage and still be beating Isaac this badly, having only taken one hit over the duration of the entire fight is very, very strong. Third phase is coming up any second now. Longer I can wait to use the active effect on the pony, the better, because if we can take out a couple angel fetuses in the meantime, that's good too. Now, this is where uh, things can start to fall apart a little bit. Fire some bombs in here. That does actually a ton of damage to Isaac. Not to mention, of course, the secondary benefit of uh, nuking those angel fetuses down. Just keep it up. We're about two or three hits away from Isaac being dead. And I, I want to avoid using bombs if possible. Ah, we should just drop one of these fat boys in here. Alright, he's dead. We're alive, and we can go to the chest now. Decent run. 
Not through, not due to any of my own effort, obviously, but due to some decent luck from the game. Okay, boss is far away. Item one, Book of Sin. Not as good as the pony, but gives us a pill. The pill is telepills. That might come in handy. Chocolate milk. Not gonna pick it up because I hate it. Uh, rage. Yes, that actually could benefit us a decent amount. And lard. We're slow, but this helps nonetheless. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Telepills has taken me probably slightly closer to the boss. So, rage is not, uh, it's the best item we got there, except for lard, I guess. It's not gonna make an enormous impact, except it might, because, uh, we're gonna be able to get to max rage pretty quickly by killing, uh, Blue Baby's flies, assuming we even make it to that fight in general, of course. Um, and once we do, then we'll be doing substantially more damage than we were doing on that fight against Isaac, where, you know, to be honest with you, I didn't take that much damage overall. So as long as we get to Blue Baby with a reasonable amount of health, I think we have a shot. But uh, I would welcome a full health pill or a sun card, obviously, just to potentially... I mean, I would owe all credit to those for winning the game if I did. Uh, but I would rather owe all credit to those for winning the game than, you know, just lose the game as a result of not having them or playing badly. That was a, a tough matrix of dodging there. It's okay couple more, and these guys will be dead. You know, obviously we're not doing incredible damage, because we're taking 45 seconds on every single room. It is relatively not that difficult. It's all good, though. Uh, who should we kill here? I really, I, I think we kill, if possible, we kill Sloth last. Because if we kill Sloth last, we get uh, a tarot card. And that tarot card could end up playing a major role in our potential success. So let's see if we can succeed there. You know, this is just preliminary step one. Now we go to town on Sloth. Please don't make me regret this, Sloth. You could save my run right here. Let's see. Uh, he dropped Bob's Rotten Head, which is um, pretty much the epitome of making re making me regret it. Um, Pony is still much, much better than those possibilities. So I'm not using... Um, the pony's active effect, just because I want to make sure I have it for the boss room for sure. The extra poison damage, you know, it, it's going to be a very thin margin of error on this fight. So, uh, the extra poison damage that I'd have might end up making all the difference, truth be told. We are going to be able to get a nice boon, which is that half uh, red heart, which is going to put us in a position where, presumably, uh, I can get permanent Polaroid invincibility to poison Isaac, or sorry, poison Blue Baby. And, you know, the six of one, half a dozen of the other, let's be honest. Uh, but I'm also hoping that I have the uh, kind of astuteness to constantly poison him every time I get hit. It's not going to be the easiest thing in the world. We are a little bit slower since we picked up Lard, which is going to make that trickier, but uh, could make an enormous impact for us as well. So this half eternal heart, sure, by all means, it's just another little bit on the, the pile, I guess. And uh, we'll start building up our rage here against these flies. Walk in and poison him. I, I don't think I got hit twice there, even though I lost the uh, half heart and the eternal heart. In fact, picking up the eternal heart might have actually cost me a, an opportunity at permanent Polaroid invincibility, which is uh, frustrating, to say the least. So we are poisoning him every time. We've been hit twice, to the best of my knowledge. We're doing a little bit more damage than we were on the last one. We're also getting a lot more... Uh, BS already. And Rage, honestly, is probably capped out with respect to its damage. That's fine. It's done its part. I think we're on the second phase of Blue Baby now, but he's slow, so he never creates uh, beams of light from heaven. Oh, okay. Don't take damage. Bomb's also important, as we saw on that Isaac fight. If I can get the opportunity to drop some bombs in there... You know, this is a run that is going to be like, if we win, 50% me, 50% the game for sure. I don't mean like the game is in the Binding of Isaac, I mean the rapper. He he was a really like a big inspiration for me growing up, so uh, I just want to make sure that he gets the credit that he deserves. You know, it's like he said, hate it or love it, underdogs on top, and I'm going to shine on till my heart stop. That's, I'm going to shine on till mom's heart stop is what he meant. I'm paraphrasing here, but I'm just, you know, that's the way... I think he would have wanted to be would have wanted it to be said. Sorry, sometimes I get a little choked up when I'm uh, talking about such great artistry. Okay, drop another bomb in here. That was a clutch dodge, and uh, Blue Baby's dead, and we win. GG, suck on that. Okay, we should probably not get too cocky until the angel fetuses are dead. We win, unexpected but fun nonetheless. Really good Maggie run. We're back on the horse, and then we're not doing heroin or cocaine. We're just back on the horse of winning, hopefully. Uh, back on the horse of your mother. I didn't mean that. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Consider showing your support if you did. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.